Hello everyone, here's my long away review on the Savage Hulk, Marvel Select, and Disney Store exclusive? Just kidding. I hope so. I don't know, because I only saw it at the Disney Store, not any comic book stores. But yeah, here's a figure. Here's like a full 360. And look at those uh, big feet, man. Those are huge. Even though it's Hulk, so I don't know why I'm so surprised. Here's the back. What a ghetto review, huh? <laughs> here's the worn out pants and t-shirt. Nice detail, all wrinkly, some black wash. You guys already know what I'm talking about, I bet. There's this Frankenstein looking face. He looks like a big cutie too. With his nice cute ripped t-shirt. Let's take the figure off and let's look at the base real fast. Can it stand? Yes, it can stand. It's a heavy figure by the way, so if you're ever mad, just throw it at someone. Here's the base. It's a pretty cool base. Looks like a beat up floor kind of style base, so you can pretty much add any kind of super superhero on it to make it look cool. There's the base, and here is the figure. The figure is cool, sculpt work great, paint work great, everything else great. The only thing that's bad about this figure is that the articulation is not really there. So you really just have that head swivel up and down, not the grace going up and down too, by the way. Just how far it can look going up, and how far it can look going down. Up, not the grace, down, pretty decent, I guess. Has those big ball joint arms. Well, it is big because it is Hulk. It can pretty much go forward and back, in and out. No, it's pretty decent. Bicep swivel, single joint elbow, rotate at the wrist, no hinge. Oh, there he goes. He let's stand this guy back up. He does have a waist twist, so that's pretty nice. Legs go forward, but not the grace motion, and he can't really go back. It can spread out, and like that's how, that's how far it can spread out his legs. If you guys are wondering, has a single joint knee, but there's really no point because it barely bends. He does have an ankle hinge. It just goes up and down, not the greatest though, so there's really no point in that. So other than that, the figure's just great. He does have some nice veins in his body throughout the whole body. Even though I just said body, so that doesn't really make sense at, at all, too. But yeah, there's my review on Savage Hope. He's a pretty cool figure, but don't expect too much articulation out of him. Yeah.